Well, welcome to Topic 8 on Surf Zone Processes. Uh, this is within the Coastal Hydraulics module. And uh, we'll be talking about um, these processes in three parts, beginning with a breaking wave characteristics in the first part. We'll talk about features of the Surf Zone, wave breaking, breaker types, and then set up and set down. Okay, so I'm just going to play this video which shows um, uh, waves along the coastline and we can see here the key features of, of the surf zone. Um, now the first feature is the, 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 the break point, the point at which waves begin to breaking and like break. And if I just bring this video back to right here, we can see this break point just right out here. I'll just take it back again. Um, there we go, it's coming. Yep, right there. That's the, the outer limit of the surf zone, this is zone, this point at which waves begin to break. And we'll talk a bit about the criteria for, for wave breaking um, later on in this part, but it's related to the wave steep, steepness and the wave height to depth uh, ratio. Now, of course, breaking waves is the key feature of the surf zone, and there's important differences between breaking waves and um, non-breaking waves. Firstly, they're highly turbulent, so there's a lot of energy dissipation associated with the wave breaking. But there's also um, some lateral cu current associated with the waves in the direction of the wave motion, which produces momentum. And that means there's a much greater impact of waves as they hit the shoreline compared to non-breaking non waves. There's different types of uh, uh, breakers, and we'll talk about that a bit later on. These ones are, um, are called plunging breakers. We can see that they, they sort of curl over and plunge um, down on themselves. Um, the other feature of the surf zone is the, uh, is the shoreline. Now the shoreline is defined as the, the line, uh, the, 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 the edge, water's edge, if the water was completely still, so there was no, there was no waves at all. And what we find, um, in, uh, in the surf zone is in fact the water level at the shoreline tends to be higher than it would be if the water was still. And so there's a slope in the mean water level um, up onto the beach um, and that's to create a, a pressure force back backwards um, into the surf zone um, which counteracts, which, which um, serves to slow the waves down and um, counteracts the, uh, the momentum um, in the waves. Well, we're um, standing here looking up down the beach and this area in front of us is in fact called um, the foreshore. Um, and uh, in, a, in, a, in a sec, we'll actually pan around. And behind the foreshore, we find um, these uh, sort of terraces, um, which are, um, form the, the, um, the back shore. Now, the other feature I wanna show you here is the two, this two-way flow direction on the foreshore. As the waves come in, we get uh, what's called swash, that's the waves um, pushing water up the, up the beach, up the foreshore, and then we have backwash, which is water draining under the force of gravity back down um, the foreshore. So you can see both uh, swash and backwash um, occurring here. And notice that they actually occur in slightly different directions, and that's because the swash is produced by um, the, uh, the direction of the waves, the waves, so the wave direction is important. The backwash is, 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 is produced by gravity, so it's the direction of the slope of the, uh, the foreshore that's important. Well, there's two criteria which you use to find the point at which uh, waves break. The first is based on steepness, and that's the wave height divided by the wave length. And when that equals greater, a number, then it's greater than one seventh, um, waves are expected to break. And the other criteria is the wave height um, relative to the water depth. Um, and that, when that's greater than the breaking index, they also break. Uh, and the breaking index is around um, 0 0.78, but it varies depending on, on the beach slope and the breaker type, and it can vary anywhere between 0.5 and 1.2. So there's a number of different types of um, wave, uh, wave breaks. There's uh, a spilling breaker, that happens on a very flat beach, and we get this um, neat wave shape just with some, some uh, foam forming um, on the uh, shoreward side of the wave. There's the plunging breakers, which are the ones that we saw um, in, the, in the video at the start of this, of this um, part of the online lecture, uh, and that happens in a slightly steeper beach slope. 
and in a very steep beach slope, you have these surging breakers, waves that sort of break as they, as they surge um, up onto the beach. Now, as we said um, during the video, the water level at the, uh, at the shoreline tends to be higher than um, further out to sea. And that's because, um, and that's referred to as setup. And we can see that here is the, uh, the shoreline. Um, here's the still water level shown as a dashed line. And the, um, the, the, the sort of mean water level um, is actually higher than the still water level on that distance. The height above the still water level um, is called setup. And what that does is to create a, um, a pressure gradient uh, back into the water. I mean, if you imagine this to be a river and in fact you get water flowing uh, down the sort of the the shore the shoreline and back into the sea uh, and that creates a, a force um, which uh, serves to slow the waves down because as i said before when they're breaking they have momentum and so that's why there there is a setup there's also set down associated with shoaling outside of um, the the break points are outside of the surf zone. So we have um, a reduction in, in mean water level below the still water level outside of the, um, the, the surf zone. And then we have, and that's called set down. And then we have the set up um, inside the surf zone. And we can um, apply a force balance to uh, uh, calculate or estimate what um, the set up and the set down would be. You can go through your textbooks to get the derivation of these um, these terms, but the set down is given by this equation. The setup is given by this one, um, and the terms in those equations are defined here. We've got the wave number k, we've got the wave height at breaking hb, um, we've got the water depth h, we've got the set down at, at the break at breaking at the wave break, um, we've got the water depth at the wave break hb. And we've got the breaking index. Remember, that's typically around 0.78.